Film reflection number one, the color of money, colonialism, and the slave trade. So each film reflection that we do, I will have an instruction paper like this that's specific to that film, okay? The what is a film reflection document is always available to you in um, modules week one. Scroll down to assignment instructions and there it is in written form or in video tutorial. That applies to all the film reflections. That's the overall general instructions for how to write one. But each film will have its own instructions also. And they're very short, just kind of an overview of, of what the film's about, what I'm looking for a little bit. <clears throat> and also, most importantly, the link to the film itself, okay? Now, in this case only, film reflection number one, I'm actually going to have a document associated with this assignment also. So prior to watching the film, read the attached document, 10 things everyone should know about race. So what I'm really doing here is trying to set the stage for this class. This class, it, the theme of this class, I should say, is race. That's my background as a, as a professor. Uh, that's, you know, where, where I do my work, okay? So my classes are typically based on race. I don't mean 100% every, every moment, but that's kind of the background theme. So this, this document that I'm going to show you here in a minute, and it will be attached to the assignment and this film, somewhat sets the stage for, you know, where we're going to start with this idea uh, of where race is and, and, you know, how it kind of evolved and, and, and what it really is compared to what we all might think it is today, okay? Okay, so this document is entitled 10 Things Everyone Should Know About Race. <clears throat> the Power of an Illusion. Our eyes tell us that people look different. No one has trouble in distinguishing a Czech from a Chinese. But what, what do those differences mean? Are they biological? Has race always been with us? How does race affect people today? There's less and more to race than meets the eye. So this is probably a different approach to race than maybe you've seen or heard or learned before. It, it's, it's suggesting that it's not really real, that it's a construct of human beings. Human beings came up with race as a way to categorize people. Uh, so I'm not going to go over all of these, but a couple of the main ones here. Race is a modern idea. Race has no genetic basis. Human subspecies don't exist. Skin color really is only skin deep. Scientists tell us that all of us, regardless of our race, regardless of our gender, are 98 to 99 percent the same. So what makes us different? Why do we have different skin colors and eye colors and hair colors and so on? It's evolution. Okay, so please read all these 10 points and dig into this a little bit and kind of try to, you know, get a feel for this and then watch the film uh, and you'll see what I'm talking about because the film is somewhat about the same idea of this idea that this was is a construct of human beings. So is the idea of race a construct of human beings is kind of what this is all about. Uh, then watch the film, Color of Money. There's the link right there, just under an hour long. <clears throat> After reading the document and watching the film, write a reflection paper on your reactions to the film. Keep in mind your readings in the lectures. This film suggests that racism developed to justify discrimination and cruelty in the name of economic gain. That's a mouthful right there. I'm going to, I'm going to read that again. The film suggests that racism developed to justify discrimination and cruelty in the name of economic gain. The idea that institutionalized racism is blended with capitalism. These are, these are huge statements right here. So what are your feelings about this? What part did religion presumably play in the creation of ideas about race? And you'll see the, the uh, part of the film that talks about religion. As the film progressed, what were your reactions to the way non-whites were treated in America? How has this film added to the knowledge you have gained from the lectures and reading the book? So those are all questions you can look at. You don't have to answer every one of those. You know, you're, it's a reflection paper, um, but this kind of gives you some idea of, of, of places that you can talk about. Okay, this assignment's a personal reflection. I'm not going to share this with anybody. So you can, you, you can be as personal as you'd like, as personal as you, as you trust me and to, to be anyway. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to share it with anybody or show it to anybody. Um, again, we're trying to find our voice here. That's, some, that's what I'm trying to get you to do. If you disagree with any of the film, that certainly is your right, and I, I, I acknowledge that. Uh, that is perfectly fine. It's okay to disagree, but give me valid reasons why you disagree. Don't you say, I don't, I don't believe that. Tell me why. 
Uh, so be certain you understand the requirements for this assignment. So again, refer to the instructions entitled, what is a film reflection? You may want to have that open. You know, a, a few weeks go by between film reflections, you may forget what they are. So at least review it real quick or leave it open while you write your paper so you, you make sure that you're following the instructions and meeting the requirements. Uh, this paper is due by midnight Monday. I don't have a date there because uh, different classes have different due dates. Uh, and, and I use this for each class. So um, to find your due date, just go to assignments in Canvas and scroll down to film reflection number one, and it'll, it'll be right there. You can turn this in electronically from the assignment links. Okay, thank you.